Hi everyone, I'm good. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a bag of pickled peppers. Hey everyone, I'm good. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Goodyear, and I'm here to play more of Spirit of the North. A fun little game that I found where I get to play as a fox, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, join the game so far, um, but let's jump right back into it, and uh, we'll have a good old time. Let's get this. There we go. We're on chapter four. Oh, look at that. Mmm, big, big valley. That's so cool. Although from this direction, it looks like, you know, the sky is red. You know, like it's the apocalypse. You know, you look over here, it looks fine. <laughs> it's another, uh, oh, I guess I'm supposed to go over there. This is both like beautiful and ominous. All this or om, ominous, om, omniscient. I'm not what English. I don't know how to speak you. Oh, oh, it's more of this stuff. Here, let me just let me just go even further beyond. Let me just go Super Saiyan. Boom. Did I get it all? Of course I did. No, wait. Yes, I did. All right. So I go in here. Oh, it's a stick. I guess I get to go find another dead body. Oh, there he is. Looks like a fr he looked like a rock. Oh, are you all sad and crying? Here, here's your stick back, so you can stop crying, and you can go on to the afterlife. So wait, wait, am I the Grim Reaper? Am I the one leading these souls to their their new home? Does that make the spirit fox Mandy Potemkin's pet? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a portal to hell? That looks like a portal to hell. That or a cheap knockoff of the Ire of Sauron. Oh, no. No! No! Don't go in there, little guy. I got you. Whoa. Oh, okay. This must be the spirit realm. Because I'm now Ghost Dog. Oh, wow. Okay. Did I mess that up? Okay, no, I didn't. I can go back. I just went too far. I can't get too close, but I, I, I was afraid if I got too close. If I didn't get close enough. I know. I, I can't do Sean Chamel very well. Oh, I closed the portal to hell. That's cool. Can't go any further. Oh, there we go. So this is interesting. Whoa, this place is under light. Oh no, it's nuclear fallout. That or volcanic ash, pick one. Do I go this way? I mean, I'm guessing I do. This game is pretty intuitive on like where it wants you to go. Pretty clear. Yeah, I need to go that way. But I need flowers. Aww. The foxes are all decapitated. That does not a good sign. Well, that didn't work. What am I supposed to what am I supposed to do then? I could have sworn I had to go that way, but apparently I can't. Well, I'm now trapped. Well, I guess uh, down's the only way. Wee. Oh. Okay, another power up. All right. Do I have to get to those things? How do I? Okay. Um. Hey yeah. Nope. That way. That's what I was supposed to do. I'm not. I'm not a big dum dum all the time. I'm just a big dum dum most of the time. Like ninety percent of the time, am I a big dum dum? Oh no. Whoa. Hello. 
Can I just walk that up? Walk up that? I don't know what I just did, but apparently I would have broken the game and I would have gotten past this a lot easier than what I was supposed to do. There we go. I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> hey man, if there's a glitch in the game, you might as well use it, right? I mean, that's what speedrunners have been doing for years. Sweet. So that's another power-up. I'm guessing, I don't know. I would just assume that, because that's what happened last time, is I learned I learned something new. I learned new something new about my, my new my new ghostly powers. Whoa. Oh! I can now become the spirit fox by pressing X. Oh, and then you go to sleep. And then you come back. And you don't lose the power up? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. I can only move a certain distance. That makes sense. Okay, no. Don't want to go back down there. Which means then I can use the spirit fox to cut. Yes, because I can walk through things. Ah, oh, it all makes sense now. Wait, what happened? I thought I just opened that door. Okay, so it looks like it has a time limit? Oh, did I just walk past the thing I was supposed to just do? Yes, I did. I did something extra that I wasn't... Okay. Oh, I'm just dumb. Supposed to, what am I supposed to do now? I really hope that's like just volcanic ash or something, because if that's blood, then this is a bad sign. Yeah, but where is the thing that's causing this door to be locked? Is it underground? Okay, let me follow the vines. Oh, I'm just dumb. I had to go this way. <laughs> I was right the first time, I just didn't go the whole nine. Oh, come on. Am I just bad at platforming? Yes, yes you are. You're terrible at it. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Alright, you take a nap. Look, I figured it out. I'm only slightly stupid. You know, for an ancient civilization, these are some pretty, uh, pretty sophisticated, uh, you know, light doors. Must have been aliens. Wow. 
They derived all their power from blue plants. Why are you telling me to go? Where are you telling me to go? This way? Fine, I'll go this way. Well, I found a stick. So that's a good sign that I'm kind of going the right way. Or a way. Where's the guy this belongs to? You know, finding the guy that you're supposed to fetch the stick for is a lot harder than it should be. Well, he's nowhere near here because the, the stone hasn't lit up yet. I did find a trail of blue flowers. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Follow the trail of blue flowers to do this. Huh! Found him. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome, I know. Oh, I found more things to kill. Let me just, you know, let me just blow you up. Okay, that didn't work. Oh! It's a puzzle. two of them. Oh, I figured that one out. By accident. Oh, that's cool. That wasn't the answer. Or that way, that way works too. That's the one I'm looking for. You know, jumping off of cliffs is totally healthy for dogs. Or foxes. It's a fox, Mitch. It's a fox. I know you wish it was a dog that you could hug and cuddle and own and have fun with, but no. It's a fox. Oh, good. Well, I guess I follow the vines. I'm guessing this is the big bad thing that I don't need to deal with. Ooh, uprooting darkness. Oh, I need flower. Where's the flower? Oh, there it is. I was like, there has to be one nearby. There's always one right next to you all the time. Which is good game design, honestly. Like, if you're gonna have something be a requirement to you to have it to do, to do just about everything the game requires you to do, then putting it, putting them, putting the things you need like next to everything you need to do it for. It just is kind of annoying when it's like you mess something up or you make you, you think you were supposed to do something one way or the other. And you kind of have to keep running back and forth to keep getting more and more of it. Damn, this is a big old castle. It's a shame it's covered in nasty, nasty hemorrhoids. Just big, bloody, friggin' hemorrhoids. It has, that's what they are. But no wonder they're darkness and evil because they're freaking hemorrhoids. Ooh, a fox statue. 
What's over here? I do wonder. Okay, I think I figured out the puzzles too, at least for the these these uh these markings. So if it, that's the stacking one, then this needs to be nope that one, and then this is the volcano. I swear to God, that looks like Seymour. And of course, they always are happy and dance when the fox flies around with its whippy ribbon tail. Open sesame! This is like super environmental and fun. Like it just, it's, it's good to look at. Like there's not much else to say about it. Like it just looks, looks good. Like, and this is also on a handheld too. Like, this is a way to, like, this would easily calm you down after, like, a long day. When you're sitting on your Switch. When you're tired of playing Animal Crossing. Don't lie. Don't lie. You've been playing that forever, haven't you? Oh. I'm gonna have to run then, aren't I? Okay. So this is good game design. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, it's a little fillery. Like, there's a lot of filler going on here, but... But this is like, you only have a certain amount of time to get through some stuff. Oh, I found a dead guy. Okay, good. It opens both of them. Oh, no, it doesn't. It only opens the one. I fell down. Well, that's not cool. Wait, that means there's a stick around here somewhere that I gotta go find. Shouldn't there be? Or is it something I'm gonna find later and then have to backtrack? I, I could have. There has to be one. Oh, there it is. I found it. It's in a spot that's a pain to get. So these guys aren't actually part of the story, they're just kind of extras. Oh, it just... Does it just open now? Oh, what? And how do I... Well, I got an achievement out of it. Is one of those race against the clock kins? Nope, you're not gonna fucking make that no matter what you do. And what the heck? Well, I have a stick for him. I just, how do I get to him? Oh. Oh. There's a back door. I made that more complicated than I needed to, didn't I? There's your stick back. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun. In the afterlife. You sad dead man. Okay, so then where are... So now I have to go up. Oh, it's one... I'm gonna be doing a lot of running and jumping around, aren't I? That's fine. Like, I haven't been doing that the entire time I've been playing this game. Um, oh, good. Okay. Hey, I got it just in time. <laughs> just in the nick of time. Almost didn't make it. Whoa, that doesn't look good. I like how the plants scream like dying men, like dying old men. Da, 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 da. You know what these flowers remind me of? They remind me of, uh, like, God. They remind me of, oh God, what is his name? 
The guy's sword from, um, the, like, the Ice Rose sword from, uh, Sword Art Online Alice, uh, Alicization. Which, I'm, that's what they remind me of. I'm kind of, kind of excited for part two, but... I don't know, I'm just talking. But that's what they remind me of. Alright, was that all of them? Am I finally done with this madness? Yes, yes I am. I can go and do this. Whee! I like how you do hit terminal velocity. <laughs> oh, now I gotta get flowers for five minutes. Alright, uno momento. Yep, I gotta do it for each one. One eternity later. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, it just decreased the water. Cool. Off I go into the wild blue yonder pits of hell. Oh no! It's like that scene from Call of the Wild. Rapids are bad. All that ice skating is coming in handy now, except I can't see where I'm going because there's too much water particles in my face. Not that there's really any way to like go off the beaten track. Waterfalls. Kids, don't try this at home. This will probably get you killed. Without the proper safety equipment, like helmets, inner tubes, pads, life preservers, and even then you'll probably still get a lot really hurt. All right, so I guess we're here now. Am I back where I started? It feels like it, but it doesn't look like it. Nope, because it's not red anymore. Oh, chapter five. Dude, that was a long chapter four. That chapter four felt like, felt like two, the two towers. Just, go, just a little bit. The amount of puzzle solving, though. I mean, it's it's. I guess it's getting progressively harder as you're playing, which is good. A good sign of a of a good game design. But at the same time, like, there was a there's a couple moments where I was just like, do I do I really have to do it this way? Can I can I just skip? Do I have to go and do? It, it's moments like that where the game mechanic, although cute in the beginning. Um, ultimately becomes a problem later on. Whoa. That's new. Okay, that's... I wasn't expecting that, but that's cool. I guess that's, that's what that does now. Wait, does that mean that one that I found earlier that didn't do anything, that's what it did? It was going to shoot me back to where I was so that I didn't have to backtrack so much there's only been a couple times where it feels like there's been a bit of backtracking which is kind of not a good sign about a game but there's not even enough of it for it to be a problem hi everyone it's good you're the editor here from the future doing an outro for the thing i did in the past because i always wanted to be a time traveler and i can't afford a delorean no it's because i uh I decided to cut this video in half because of how long it was. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit more digestible for you guys and keep my sanity. So, I have to do this outro now because I didn't do one in the video when I recorded the gameplay. So, here we are. Um, so, thank you for watching part two. Um, part three, what was initially part of this video, now part three will be out next week, hopefully. But you know the best way? The best way to find out when I post new videos? Hit that subscribe button. That's right. Yeah, smash that. Smash it. And then while you're down there, hit that little notification bell. Uh-huh. Ring that thing. Ring it loud and proud. Yeah. And then while you're down there, why don't you hit that little like button? That also helps. And uh, after the like button, why don't you leave me a comment? Tell me uh, tell me what I'm messing up. Or have a nice discussion with me about the video game and how you guys think, what you guys think about it. In fact, why don't you hit the little dev link down below so you can go play the game yourself. And then tell me what I'm doing wrong because I'm obviously doing things wrong. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Goodyear, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to stay hydrated, kids.